Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Llorente. Welcome to Polo In. In this video, we're going to analyze the knocking to the left. The idea that the knocking meets the objectives of a knocking. It can be made through short passes, and it's definitely safer if one of your teammates makes a curtain towards the opponent's player marking you. Remember that having players on the right of your horse is very dangerous. They can come close to you very rapidly and mark you in an easy way and steal the ball away from you. In this first example, there's no curtain from the knocking in team. The ball has to go very fast and the players to gallop fast. Otherwise, they can be marked and the ball can be stolen from them. In the second example, the player is knocking in and there's a curtain from his teammate. So it's a very good knock-in because the player is on his own at the left-hand side of the field close to the boards. Here the black player receives a short pass. This knock-in meets the objectives of a knock-in. As in this case, if you don't have a curtain, you have to hit the ball and run. Here again the red player receives a short pass. And decides to go forward with auto passes. being very careful with the opponent marking him. Here the light blue player changes direction and makes a short pass to the left. When you decide to hit a long ball forward when you knock in, it's a divided ball. And also to unmark one of your teammates, curtains are most necessary. Makes a long pass to the left. The receiving player needs to push forward, not to be marked. Hit and run. Let's see here the great curtain made by the white players. The red player makes a long pass to the left. Let's see at the curtain made by the white players. Even if there is this curtain, it would be much better to run and hit. You're a great knocking. It looks as if they're going to the right. When you hit a pass to the left, it is important that your opponent is not marking you, that your opponent is far from you. If you have an opponent close to you when you receive a pass to the left, the first one getting to the ball, of course, gets the ball. It's a divided ball. The coordination of the receivers for the ball to be in front is very important, as the violet player do here. The receivers need to adapt to the strength of the shot of the player knocking in. Knowing his teammates is most important. Here the blue player gets there before the yellow player. Here the pink players get the ball. Here the blue player gets there before and wins the ball. Here it looks like the red player is going to get there before, but the white player accelerates and wins the ball. Here the black player gets there before, and as you can see it's easier to mark when the ball is played on the left of the field. The priority is to get to the ball before the opponent. With a large pass, the more of your teammates are on the line of the ball, the easier it is to get the ball. When you hit a long ball, a divided pass, the more players of your team are on the line of the ball, the easier it is for you to keep the ball. White player and wins the ball.
If you hit a divided ball and your opponent is closer to the ball or in front of your teammate, the ball is already lost. If the opponent gets there before you or before your teammate, you already need to think on how to defend. In these cases, the knock-in doesn't meet the objectives of a knock-in. When you hit a knock-in on the right, it's easier. It is more difficult to mark you and the first player who gets onto the line of the ball is the player who usually wins the ball. If you hit the ball on the left it's very important to start running in front of your opponent and be quicker than him it's a strong pass forward the red player is in front of his teammate it's a lost ball so the blue player lost the ball but they immediately reorganized to defend very good Here again, the white player is in front of the red player. He'll get the ball first. It's a lost pass. Again, lost pass from the blue player. Think about defending immediately. The blue player is in front of the red opponent. Again, lost ball. To summarize, the knock-in to the left. The first player who gets to the ball wins the ball. It is important to start running already in front of your opponent. Otherwise, you won't get there on time. Or have a very, very quick horse. It's much easier to mark you for your opponents. It is ideal, if you want to be successful, to organize curtains. Without curtains, the only solution to keep the ball is to hit and run. The result of a knock into the left is most of the times uncertain. I hope you enjoy following videos. Do not forget to click like. We are here to help and argument the game to help more people to understand and play polo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Polo In is often updated. There are many new videos. You shouldn't miss any of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.